So I have in my hand the macro lens for the DJI Action 2. And you're probably going, just stop talking, show me the footage, is it any good? Okay, calm down, here it is. Let me tell you one very, very important thing you need to know about this to make sure your footage doesn't look like this. Also compare the footage to the Hero 10 with a macro lens and the Insta360 Go 2. So here we go. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black and I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you like this kind of stuff, don't be a stranger. And if you're interested in any of the products I'm showing you today, I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus some coupon codes and a surprise link. So when they first announced the macro lens, there was actually a big long wait for it. And I signed up immediately and didn't hear a thing about it until last week when I got an email saying, hey, you can order it now. So I clicked order and shelled out the dollar dues. When it first arrived, I took it out of the box and I popped it on magnetically and I was like, that's really cool. Got some really up close shots and I was like, that looks amazing on this tiny little screen. It looks so great. And then I put it on my computer and I was like, oh, that's not as great as it looks. It looks terrible. And yes, it comes with some instructions, uh, just a very tiny little part that's in English, but not really any helpful instructions. So then later I was just scrolling through the menu system and I saw this macro lens detection. So I turned that on and check out what it does. When I put the macro lens on, it actually detects that it's on and it does something to the footage to make it look a lot better. And I find it very interesting that if you put like a filter on or something, it actually doesn't detect that as a macro lens. It only detects it when you actually put the macro lens on. Like, how does it know? So that's a very important step that they don't really tell you about, but uh, it makes it so much better taking your footage from this to this. Yeah, that looks really good, right? But now let's compare it to the Hero 10 with a macro lens. This is a third party macro lens. GoPro doesn't make one, at least not now. It would be nice if they had some kind of software change on here for macro mode like uh, the Action 2 does. But uh, which one looks better? So I'm using this uh, little desktop dolly from Sandmark. I just did a review on it. It's actually pretty cool. So now let's compare it to the Insta360 GO 2. Now I know that this isn't a macro lens and it's not really a macro mode camera, but it's tiny and kind of gets some really cool close up shots. Which one do you think looks the best? I would love to know, let me know in the comments. And also, if you could let me know what uh, you're watching it on, whether it be your phone, laptop, or like a 4K monitor, or 6K monitor, or whatever K they have now. But that's it for today. I just wanted to share the DJI Action 2 macro lens. I'm not trying to get you to spend your money. I'm just trying to show you what's out there. And if you want it, you know where to get it. A lot of really cool reviews coming up, like really cool, you do not want to miss, and some other fun videos happening all the time. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. That's